How's it going everyone? With our American friends celebrating the 4th of July today, I thought I would make a video featuring some of our favorite American fighting game characters. However, as expected, doing so would be quite the enormous task since there's just too many of them. I mean, even in my own card game, which is inspired by fighting games that has a roster of 14 characters, three of them come from the United States, so you can imagine how many others are out there in the dozens, if not hundreds, of fighting game titles released over the years. So we needed to thin the herd a little bit, and that's why we'll be looking at a top 10 list made only by American characters inspired by real people. If either the character or the person they were based on isn't from the United States, then it doesn't count. Also, I will be limiting this to only one character per celebrity, since as you can expect, some people inspired more than one character, and it would be boring to have multiple entries talking about the same person. Oh, and yeah, no Bruce Lee allowed here. There is more than enough Bruce Lee clones to populate their own list, so let's save that for later. So, all set? Let's dive right into this with my pick for number 10, which is a little bit of a cheat, so best to get that out of the way as fast as possible. It's Shaquille O'Neal from Shaq Fu. I say Shaq is cheating a little because he's not just inspired by a real person, but rather he's Shaquille O'Neal himself, albeit a fictional version of him. If you're from a younger generation, you might not have seen him playing, but Shaquille O'Neal is one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Massive in size, Shaq played for six teams over his 19-year career and is a four-time NBA champion. He also released four rap albums, appeared in numerous films, and was even featured in a few games, besides his own, that are not about basketball. In the game's storyline, Shaquille O'Neal walks into a dojo while heading to a charity basketball game in Tokyo, Japan. After speaking with Leo Tsu, a martial arts master, Shaq goes to another dimension, the second world, where he must rescue a young boy named Nezu from the evil mummy Seth Ra. Because of the royal blood that runs in his veins, Nezu is to be used in an ancient ritual that will allow Seth Ra to regain his full strength and use it to take control of Earth. Only the Chosen One can stop Seth Ra now, one who possesses strength, spirituality, courage, agility, intelligence, and unsurpassed skill in martial arts. Number 9 is probably the most in-your-face American character in this list, Muscle Power from World Heroes. Muscle Power, whose real name is Chris Hanger, was inspired by Hulk Hogan, a legendary wrestler who was easily one of the most recognizable wrestling stars during the 1980s and 90s. During and after wrestling, Hogan also had an extensive acting career, beginning with his 1982 antagonist role in Rocky III. Besides starring in several films, he also had three television shows, and one of them, Thunder in Paradise, I even remember watching when I was a kid, that boat was dope. Dressed in the American flag scholars, Muscle Power is a super charismatic pro wrestler who believes his muscles are the best weapon this world has ever seen and fights in the World Heroes Tournament to prove his point. He is far from the only character based on Hogan and probably not even the most popular one, but he's clearly the most obvious doppelganger, even sporting Hogan's traditional and iconic mustache in the first game which was removed in following sequels. But I'll leave it to the comment section to point out other Hulk Hogan references in fighting games, since it's time we move on to the next fighter in our list. Number 8 is probably going to surprise at least a few of you. S. Kill from Dive Kick. Yes, I could have picked someone else from this game, since Dive Kick is filled with references to the fighting game community, including players and tournament organizers, but I decided to go with my favorite character, as well as someone who I think was, and still is, extremely important to the genre. SQ is based on fighting game veteran, Street Fighter commentator, and former Capcom community manager, Seth Killian. His teleports and kicks are inspired by Seth from Street Fighter 4, whose name is also a reference to him. He bears a clear resemblance to Killian, even holding his hands in the same position he plays on an arcade stick, cross-handed pressing the buttons with his left hand while his right hand uses the control stick. In the game, SQ is the leader of an organization hell-bent on rebalancing the entire world so that it can be repackaged and sold once again. After his subordinates fail to rebalance professional dive kicking, SQ set out to do the job himself. While I'm sure many of us dream of making our own fighting game, I know I do, 
Being immortalized in one of them must also be quite an honor, and Killian is definitely among those that deserve it. In number 7, our favorite island owner, Zack from Dead or Alive. A DJ who self-taught in Mai Tai, Zack fights for money and fame. He actually does pretty well, either through his own efforts or because other contestants withdraw from the tournaments. With his winning, Zack bought his own private island, inviting the female contestants to his games under the hopes of it being the setting of a new tournament. Often seen wearing bright, colorful and sometimes absolutely bizarre costumes, Zack is a very flamboyant, perpetually happy, energetic and natural showman who lives to entertain and is often a source of comic relief in the series. His appearance is based off the famous basketball player, Dennis Rodman, who is just as weird and eccentric, if not, incredibly, even more, which is saying something considering that one of Zack's recurring, possibly most iconic costumes is a tight full-body alien suit made from silver reflective material. Rodman's many controversial antics include, but are not limited to, repeatedly dyeing his hair in artificial colors, regularly disrupting games by clashing with opposing players and officials, wearing a wedding dress to promote his 1996 autobiography, and even befriending the North Korea leader, Kim Jong-un. Though Rodman is also known for his fierce defensive and rebounding abilities, his larger-than-life personality is often what people remember about him, which just goes to show you how much Zack borrowed from him. Number 6 is a character that many fans want to play in KOF 15, Lucky Glauber from The King of Fighters. Lucky is a karate champion who is also a former professional basketball player. He joined the King of Fighters tournament to help his friend, Heavy D, but also to test his own fighting ability. Along with the rest of the members of the American sports team, Lucky hasn't appeared in too many games after his debut in KOF 94. There is actually a running gag in the series where the invitations sent to Lucky's team are stolen by other participants. His prototype design was based on the character Hakim in the martial arts film Game of Death, played by no other than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, himself a professional basketball player who also happened to have trained Jeet Kune Do under Bruce Lee. Abdul-Jabbar played 20 seasons in the NBA, winning 6 championships as a player and 2 more as an assistant coach. He has numerous records in his career and in 1996 was honored as one of the 50 greatest players in NBA history. With that kind of curriculum and a personal relationship with one of, if not the greatest martial artists of all time, it's no wonder Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is part of the select group of people forever immortalized in fighting games. Now, if only his gaming persona could catch a break. In number 5, a character we don't usually see alone, Ralph Jones from The King of Fighters. Originally a character in top-down shooting games, Ralph Jones is a member of the Ikari Warriors, an elite mercenary for hire agency. This list is probably one of the few places you see him without his friend, Clark Steele, as the pair is pretty much inseparable. Ralph is a powerful soldier, known for his leadership and courage on the battlefield. However, he's also a hot-blooded guy that strives for action, in complete contrast to Clark's more reserved personality. His design was based on Sylvester Stallone's role as Rambo, with both him and Clark starting out as palette swap characters. Gradually, they had their visuals updated, but in KOF Maximal Impact, Ralph received an alternate costume that was much closer to his Ikari Warriors persona, and thus, to Rambo. If you don't know who Rambo is, well, you must have been living under a rock all these years. As for Sylvester Stallone, he is, of course, also widely known for his role as Rocky Balboa, which I'm sure must have served as inspiration for at least a few pugilists in fighting games. Me, though, I think John Spartan from Demolition Man could use a little more attention, but then again, he does get outshined by his co-star, who's actually the next name in this list, but with a different character. In number 4, if you haven't guessed yet, is Raven from Tekken. Raven resembles Wesley Snipes' character in Demolition Man, Simon Phoenix, but also the Marvel Comics character Blade, which, again, was played by Wesley Snipes in the movies. If you're not familiar with the character, Blade is a human-vampire hybrid who exhibits all of their powers but doesn't share most of their weaknesses. 
The character is set to join the MCU during Phase 4, this time portrayed by Mahershala Ali, but in the meantime we will still have the quite competent adaptations led by Wesley Snipes. As for Raven, he is a ruthless member of an international spy agency and has entered the 5th King of the Iron Fist tournament to find out who or what was behind the event since he witnessed Heihachi Mishima's apparent death by a swarm of jacks. After his debut in Tekken 5, Raven returned for all subsequent games until being replaced by his superior, Master Raven in Tekken 7. Which is just as well, since the game now features Eliza, a female vampire who probably wouldn't like to have anything to do with him. Hey guys, Edu from the future here and I just wanted to clarify that Raven's nationality is actually unknown. Even worse, the European Tekken 6 website for a while listed him as being a Canadian, so that doesn't bode well to his presence in this list. I only noticed this mistake when the video was complete though, so it was a little too late to change it. Besides, you know, there's still a chance he might be American, so just roll with it. Number 3 is the only woman in this list, Sonya Blade from Mortal Kombat. I think we all know who Sonya Blade is, a badass soldier who fights in and later commands all operations of the Earth Realm Special Forces Unit. Sonya is a stern, tough as nails general who, despite all of her stubbornness and pride, deeply cares about the lives of her friends and comrades. She has a long standing conflict with the Black Dragon leader, Kano, who murdered her former partner and stands for everything Sonya despises. During the events of the new timeline, Sonya was in a relationship with Johnny Cage, getting married not long after the Netherrealm War and Shinnok's defeat. Together they had a daughter named Cassie Cage, but later divorced. Sonya is based on Cynthia Rothrock, an American martial artist and actress in action films. In fact, she's the first American woman to appear in a Hong Kong movie. Rothrock holds black belt rankings in seven styles of martial arts and was a high-level competitor before becoming an actress. Her movie career is quite extensive and even now, in her 60s, Cynthia remains in good shape, which makes us wonder why the 1995 Mortal Kombat movie didn't star her as the character she inspired in the first place. Number 2 is probably the one name everyone was absolutely sure would make the cut. Balrog or M. Bison from Street Fighter. One of the original four bosses in Street Fighter 2, Balrog is a greedy American boxer and personal bodyguard to M. Bison. He's self-centered, hot-tempered, arrogant and sadistic. His pursuit of money and glory will stop at nothing, which makes his relationship with Ed that much more impressive, as this is the first time Balrog has shown any signs of empathy. His design was, let's say, heavily inspired by Mike Tyson, one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time. This is even more obvious in Japan, since the character's original name is M. Bison, aka Mike Bison, being renamed in the US to Balrog in fear of a possible lawsuit. I have also seen claims that Balrog might have taken inspiration from Leon Spinks, the undisputed world heavyweight champion of 1978, who later turned to competing in boxer versus wrestler matches in New Japan Pro Wrestling during the 1980s. Will that make some sense? I don't buy it. As for Tyson, well, what can I say? Dude was the undisputed world heavyweight champion from 1987 to 1990, winning his first 19 professional fights by knockout, 12 of them in the first round, and claiming his first belt at 20 years old, holding the record as the youngest boxer ever to win a heavyweight title. Oh, and on a funny note, Tyson didn't seem to be aware of Balrog until being asked during an interview in July of 2019. Though there are indeed other examples of incredible boxers, Mike Tyson is surely one of the greatest. It's no wonder they made a video game character out of him. And in number one, we have another Mike, Hagar from Final Fight. The only protagonist to be in all three Final Fight games, Mike Hagar is an ex-wrestler who is also featured in Saturday Night Slam Masters. Though he hasn't yet appeared as a playable character in Street Fighter, Hagar still plays a role in a number of backstories and is a playable fighter in the Marvel vs. Capcom franchise, not to mention Final Fight's own spin-off, Final Fight Revenge. After retiring from wrestling, Hagar was elected mayor of Metro City, 
under the promise of diminishing the city's ever-increasing crime rate. He did so a little too well though, so his daughter Jessica was kidnapped in an attempt to manipulate him. Instead of giving up to the criminal's demands, Hagar enlisted the help of Jessica's then-boyfriend, Cody, and his friend, Guy, to go head-to-head -head with the criminal syndicate and rescue his daughter. A number of real-life wrestlers served as inspiration for Mike Hagar, including the late Macho Man Randy Savage, who might even be the reason why, in Slam Masters, Hagar is known as Mike Macho Hagar. What's incredibly peculiar about him, though, is how much life would later imitate art. Most noticeably, the ex-professional wrestler Jesse Ventura would start his own political career in 1991, only two years after Final Fight, when he was elected mayor of Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Hagar also shares his likeness with Don Fry, an American former mixed martial artist, professional wrestler and actor. The resemblance is so uncanny that only the fact that Fry started his career in 1996 makes it clear that Hagar wasn't based on him. The similarity paid off though, when Fry was casted to play the mayor in a Final Fight fan film, which is linked in the description of this video. So yeah, with Hagar it's not so much a case of how he was inspired by real life people, but how similarly future events would later unfold, and I think that's pretty interesting and worthy of a conversation even if it does break the rules of my list a little bit. But what do you think? Who are your favorite American fighting game characters? Leave your opinions and suggestions below, make sure to like and share this video if you enjoyed the content, and keep an eye out for my card game, which I hope to release this year if I can manage to solve a few annoying details. Also, if you have Tabletop Simulator and you want to help me with test plays for balance purposes, let me know in the comments below and I'll contact you with more details. For now, this has been a Duke Me Player, and I'll see you guys later.